Man, I'm hungry. What'd she do with that? Ooh. Give me a thick one. Hurry up and get this before she gets back out here. <laughs> I'm hungry. Ooh. This is that beauty berry jam. I know it's going to be good. That's butter. Hustle, 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 hustle. Come on, hurry up, melt butter. God, it's chilly out here, isn't it? I should have got a spoon. What are you doing? <laughs> Those are for the video. <laughs> Well, I was hungry. That soup done yet? I'm ready. Hey there. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to make angel biscuits. Now, if y'all know, we haven't had an oven in a really long time. And my friend Gail gifted me with a toaster oven. And it is working out so good because there's only the two of us. So I only need to make... A, you know a small amount so it's working out so good and I haven't had these angel biscuits in years and they are so good they're like in between a roll and a biscuit is they're nice and fluffy but not overpoweringly yeasty if you know what I mean I mean they don't and you, there's not a lot of rise time you know you put them in the fridge for 30 minutes and then you roll them out so they're real easy to do. The batter, you can keep the extra batter. You know, you can make this big batch like this, which is the only way I know how to make it. And then it keeps for a couple of weeks in your fridge. And then you just pull it out, roll out what you need and put it back. It's a great, great recipe. So let's get started. 100% pantry staples, all you need. You're gonna need some Arm & Hammer baking soda, some baking powder, some sugar, some salt, some buttermilk. Now for my buttermilk, I don't buy buttermilk. I make buttermilk. I just pour a little bit of vinegar in there and I make some buttermilk. And flour. And these are a roll biscuit. So you're gonna need one packet a rapid rise yeast and a half a cup of water just to dissolve your yeast and butter gotta have butter first thing we got to do is mix our dry ingredients and we need five cups of all-purpose or bread flour either one will work as light and fluffy as you can get it you know just go in there and do that And five. Now you move that out of the way. I need three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. Now we're just going to give that an incorporating stir, just like that. Get it all mixed up in there. And 
That should be good. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a something I learned from Martha Stewart. Save you so much time, y'all. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself, but you do learn things off of the TV sometimes. This is the most awesome way to cut in your butter or your shortening. Whatever you're cutting in, this is the way to do it. You take your food processor and you take about half of that mix that you just made and you put it in your food processor and then you're going to add your three-fourths of a cup of butter that I just squared up and it's got to be cold it does need to be cold butter you need cold butter to make right, and then you just pulse it that up check it look at that I'm telling you that saves you so much time no more cutting in the food processor does it for you why in the world do I get this thing off there it goes all right then we just take that put it back in our bowl with the rest of that flour and then cut that into your other flour mixture. And look at that, absolutely perfect. And it took seconds. I mean, I spent years and years and years cutting in shortening and butter and whatever, you know, lard with this handy dandy little hand. That took seconds, seconds, that was, that is my new friend right there. All right, All right. Now in my, I got a half a cup of water and one pack of the Rapid Rise yeast to get it to start activating. And then I made me some buttermilk and I'm gonna use two cups of buttermilk. And I'm just gonna pour that in there. There we go. Now we're going to make a little well inside here. Right. And then we're just going to pour that right in the center. And then we're just going to start mixing. And we're only going to mix until all of the flour is incorporated and moist. So we're, we are there. Doesn't take but just a minute. And that's what we're going to look like. Just wet dough. That's all we want. Moist, wet dough. All right now we're just going to cover that with saran wrap. Just like that. My saran wrap thing's about had it. Oops. <laughs> Make sure it's good and tight. Now we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it get colder. Let that butter get back cold again for 30 minutes. Y'all, if y'all see my fridge in there, I am like loaded with eggs. I got to do something about these eggs. All right, my 30 minutes is up. I'm good and cold. All right, now we're gonna lightly flour this board. Now, if you like to bake or your significant other likes to bake, this mat and this rolling pin are the ones to get. If you're looking for a Christmas present for a baker, these are the ones. And Randy will put a description box below thing so you can find them. 
they are truly truly worth their weight in gold all right now i only need probably you know for randy and i, I only need like a half a dozen biscuits so i'm just gonna take probably about that much dough maybe that much about a third of what i made so now i have enough dough to make angel biscuits two more times in the next two weeks all i have to do is just keep it in the fridge with that saran wrap on i guess i'm gonna put a little bit of flour over the top of that just to get it started and we're just gonna mash that down just roll it out whoops <laughs> little sticky much better you don't want to put too much more flour in there these are really light fluffy biscuits so you just and you want your dough a good half inch deep or half inch so what i'm going to do is fold it over again fold it over again roll it back out about like that I'm gonna take my biscuit cutter cut my biscuit yeah you really don't want to overwork this dough it works so much better and it's light and airy If it's still a little sticky, that's okay. All right, I'm just gonna toss that right back in there. My leftovers that I didn't need, we just put them right back in there to use next time. Now we're going to get those on a little baking pan. All right. And I'm just going to set them right on a little cookie sheet. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to put these in a 400 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes. You'll know when they're done because your kitchen will smell wonderful. My biscuits are done, done, done. Look at that. All right, Oop, they just sliding all around on there. All right. Mm-mm-mm. No, well, I got had guys. I thought I could get in and out real quick, but she got me. But I'm still gonna eat my biscuit. <laughs> Randy took off with the biscuits and the soup. He's gone, left me out here. So I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.